This is a very common error that we can get while posting any transaction in any module in SAP. It can really happen anywhere. So in my example here, I'm posting a goods receipt. So this is a stock movement. It's not a financial accounting posting. It's a stock movement that we are receiving some products into our storage location and the plant. And I got this error. Field baseline date is a required field for GL account. And we have the company code here, and this is the GL account number. So nowhere in this screen was the GL account inserted. This GL account is determined automatically as the inventory account because we are posting a stock movement. So this will generate an accounting posting. And this is the GL account that's determined automatically for this posting. And this GL account is requiring something that's called B line date. So this is a field that is being required. And this transaction is not passing this field. So this can happen anywhere. It can happen while posting payroll while posting confirmation for production orders. Any transaction that can have a financial impact can actually get an error like this one. And the reason we get this error is because the master data of the GL account is not set up correctly. And this just shows how important the GL account master data is. All the master data in SAP is very important, but the GL accounting master data is going to impact all the modules and all the processes where we have accounting postings. So now a trans an error like this one, wherever it appears, so no matter where it appears in, in any transaction, you will follow the same procedure I'm going to do now. So when we have a field that's mandatory for a GL account, we have to check the configuration or the master data first. So we check the master data of the GL account for something that's called the field status variant. Let me show you how to do this. So first I'm going to close this error and we have the GL account number here, 131000 and the company code CL20. So I'm going to close this and open a new screen for FS00. So FS00 is the GL account master data transaction. In this transaction, the first thing you need to do is to confirm that you are using the correct company code. So as you see here, I have the company code CL20 and if you would like to change the company code, you can click here, change the company code, and then you can choose any company code you want. And then here on the left, I have all the GL accounts. So this is an inventory account, the one that I'm using. So it is here, 131000. Another example is that you may not have this hierarchy on the left here. So if this tree is not available, let me show you this. So this can actually be deactivated from here, settings, hierarchy display. And then here I can say, do not display navigation tree. So this is actually the standard setup of this screen. So let me show you again. So FS00. So the standard layout of the screen is like this without a hierarchy on the left. So in this case, you can just insert the company code here and you insert the GL account here and then press enter. So this is the master data of the GL account that we found in the error with the company code that we found in the error. Then you go to the create bank interest. And here we have this field, field status group. So this is the thing, this is the value that controls the fields that are mandatory when we post to this GL account. So when you have an error saying that a field is required for this GL account with this company code, it means that you need to check the field status group. There are fields that are controlled by other things, but most of the fields when they are related to a GL account will be controlled by this field status group. Now, as you see here, this is an inventory account. And here I have assigned a field status group that's G009. So this is a standard field status group. So if you have any SAP S4 HANA system, you will find this. And this one is called the bank accounts obligatory due date. And as you see, this one is not a bank account. It is an inventory account, raw material stock. So first of all, this value is wrong. We should have another field status group here. But let's say you have the correct field status group or you are not sure which field status group to use. Now you can display the configuration of the field status group from the screen. Only display, you cannot change it. So if I want to display, I can double click here and this will open a display field status group screen. So here we have all the different fields and these are the fields that are available in the posting, not in the master data. So this controls the fields that are required or optional when we post an accounting entry to this GL account or when the system tries to post an automatic accounting entry because we are doing a stock movement, for example, like in our case, to this GL account. So here we have the different fields. So if I go, for example, to payment transactions, here, as you see, we have something called due date and this is required. Now, when we do stock movements, we don't have a due date. Due date is something that we have for uh, customer invoices, supplier invoices, 
something that we have to pay or receive or something. But in stock movements, we don't have a due date. This is why the stock movement transaction doesn't pass a due date. This is why we get this error. So as you see, this one is required here. So now we understand why we are getting the error, right? And then you can go back and here you have the different windows that are available in the posting. So under each screen or under each group, you can have different fields. So if I go to general data, for example, we can see here that we have assignment number optional, we have invoice reference that is suppressed and so on. So you can either have, so the field can either be optional, required or suppressed. So now let's go back and I need to change the master data of this GL account to use the correct field this group. Now you see how a small field like this one, that's master data, not even configuration, can cause a lot of issues in the system. So the GL master data is really very important and we need to be sure that whatever we put in this screen in FS00 is correct. Otherwise it can cause issues everywhere. So now I'm going to click on change and I will check the available entries. So this is a standard SCEP system. So all of these are standard groups. And here we have something that's called material consumption accounts. No, this is not the one. We have material accounts, M006. So this is the one I can use. And also to check the fields that are mandatory or optional inside, you can double click. And for example, here, if we go to payment transactions, you can see that due date is also suppressed. So it's not required like the other one. So it will no longer cause an issue. And also because this one is related to inventory, if you go to material management, you'll find that we have all of these are optional and we have also something suppressed, but you see, so it will accept the purchase order, inventory fields, customer goods movement. So these are inventory related fields and all of them are optional. So it means that they can pass from that, that they can be passed from the transaction that's posting, which is correct. So I'm going to use this value and we can test again. And if it doesn't work, then we can test again and so on. But you need to be sure that you are using the correct material, uh, the correct field the status group. Another way you can confirm that what you are using is by checking the standard company code that's configured in the system. So most of the SAP is for HANA systems. There is a standard best practice company code that's defined. Normally this would be 0001 or maybe company code 1710. So you can actually check the master data of this year account in this company code and use a similar field status group. So use this as a reference. For, so for example, I think in my system here, if I go to, so first let me just save this one. So I believe in my system, I have company code 0001 maybe. So this one is called SAB SE and the account is called stock held in affiliated companies. So it's not really the same kind of, in, of account, but it's the stock related account. Let's see what we have here. So here we have the general with text assignment. So you can also try with this one, or maybe I can just go here, go to display, and let's try to find a GL account that's used for stock in company code 0001. So this is a standard company code. So let's see here what we have. Let's see, so we have more than 500. So I would go here and switch again to a record display, which will help a lot because it will show me all the different groups. So display accounts and let's restart the screen. Now I need to find in 0001 a stock account so we can check the field status group. So I'm going to restart the screen so this way I can see the hierarchy. So there is a group for material management accounts. So normally it will be here. So here we have raw material two. So let's see this one. So this is raw material two in 0001, which is a standard company code in my system. And if you go check here, we have the field status group G006. So I can use this as a reference to be sure that I'm using the correct field status groups in my GL accounts in my company code. So now let's go back. I have changed the field status group to G006 in our account. And now I'm going to switch back to uh, the stock movement transaction. So MIGO here, and I'm going to post again. So click on post. And we no longer have the error and the material document has been correctly posted. So now we understand how to handle the error when you get an error saying that a specific field is required or is suppressed or hidden in a GL account with a company code, wherever you get this transaction. So whether, wherever you get this error, so if you get it while posting a stock movement, while posting payroll, while posting anything in the system, then you understand that this is an issue in the master data of the GL account. You understand that you need to change the field status group and also how to check the configuration of the field status group. If for any reason you would like to change the configuration of the field status groups, so this is of course something that will be done by the financial accounting consultant. In, in general, even if you have access to change the field status group, 
no one should change it except someone who knows financial accounting because maybe if you change it to a wrong field group it will impact the other modules but anyway so if you would like to change the configuration of the field status groups you can easily do this from the from here you can go to help and from here you can switch to the configuration so if you click here on customizing this small icon you can click on continue without specifying a project and from here you can see this define field status variants make and change document settings and try to find something that's related to financial accounting so this is bank accounting asset so this one is financial accounting so double click here this will start the configuration transaction and if you of course if you have access and if you are in the system where you are allowed to configure from here you can change the configuration of the field status variants so the field status variant is assigned to our company code so first you should see which field status variant is assigned to your company code and then you can check the groups inside this field status variant let me show you this quickly so to check the company code to see which what is the field status group assigned in there you can go to spro financial accounting global settings global parameters for company code intergrouper parameters and from here let's go to our company code cl20 so if i go here we have the field status variant 0001 so this is the variant assigned to our company code now let's go back to the configuration transaction so we go to this variant and inside this variant you can double click on groups and here are the different groups so the one we are using is g006 and here we have the different fields so i can go here for example and i can choose to make this one required optional but again you need to be very careful if you change the standard field status groups normally you should create your own customized ones if you want but in most of the projects we just use the standard ones and we do not change anything in them but anyway now we understand how to do all of this if you'd like to create your own group you can click on new entries create a group and assign text and then you can control what are the fields mandatory and optional and suppressed and so on so to configure the field status variants or the field status groups the first step is to check your company could find which field status variant is assigned as we did here and then you go to the screen where you configure the field status groups and and you go into your field status variant check the different groups in there and change the configuration as you want i hope now you understand how to control the fields that are required optional or hidden for any gl account let me know if you have any questions in the comments and let me know what you think about these videos that are very related to some specific topics and direct to the point i'm not explaining any business processes here so let me know what you think about this and as usual don't forget to subscribe to the channel join the channel membership program to support the content and also to get access to member exclusive benefits so we have videos documents and cep access and so on thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon